We're heading out to Santiago Oaks to go see this Pivot Shuttle LT. And as far as I know, Pivot does not make low-end bikes. Everything they have spec'd on their bike is in high-end components. So I'm not exactly sure how much customization has done to this bike. The owner of this bike, Mark, is, this is gonna be the first time me meeting him. So price is pretty high on this bike. Um, 9,000 for the SLX build and it's about 10,000 for the XTR build. I didn't look into how, what build he has, but when we get there, we'll find out. We've got breakfast, we've got coffee, and we got the bikes loaded up. So I'm ready to roll. Hey, what's up, man? Yo, Frankie, what's good, man? How you we doing? Good, how are we? How good. are you doing? It's nice to meet you finally nice meet in you. person. Yep. Yeah, yep. buddy. So that is the Shuttle LT. Shuttle LT, yeah. We're going to finish gearing up and then we're going to head out. Okay. All, right. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. It's a beautiful day to be outside, Dude, man. it's great. How long have you had the bike? So I've only had it for about a month. Taking a little bit getting used to. Um, yeah, different geometry. Different geo, definitely a longer reach. Full 29er. I had a decoy, got rid of that, got the specialized Turbo Levo. Really like that bike, but yeah. this was kind of a, a deal that I couldn't pass up. But I actually got this, this is second hand. Oh, okay. I All bought right. it used. I'm expecting my second child. Oh, nice. Next month, so. Cool. My riding time is dwindling very <laughs> fast. <laughs> yeah. Hence is why I primarily only ride an e-bike. It's my only bike. Yeah. This is a DW Link, right? Yes. It's a beast, man. How do you like the, uh, the Float X suspension? Do you, think you know what, I'm getting used to having a, an air suspension again. Um, I have to play around with it a little bit more. They purposely put this on here instead of an X2 because um, they wanted it to feel a little bit more playful instead of just super enduro downhill yeah. masher. How, how much of your stuff is aftermarket? Not a lot. So really the transmission drivetrain uh, is one of the things that's like the biggest and then a couple of like little components like the wolf tooth um, chain ring. That's pretty much it, really. And then, How do you um, like the transmission? Oh, dude, it's great. So it's my good, first huh? wireless drivetrain, so. Did you have the access before? No, I've, oh, I've okay. never had any wireless drivetrain before. Um, I just used to rock the regular GX. But this is a sweet bike. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a beauty, man. I love it. The chain stay looks very, very short. It is, right? And it's the same across every size. Yeah, yeah. On on this particular that must be, model, must be pretty awesome to pop this bike around. It is, and I that was one of the things I was worried about about going back to a full 29er uh -huh. was um, not being able to kind of be as as playful and, and whip the the back end of the bike around. And uh, you know, I haven't had any issues with it. The shorter chainstay definitely makes up for the longer reach. Um, on this in terms of just overall, you know, how big the bike feels, definitely helps out. The tires are stock as well? Yeah. Stock. Yeah. That's the guy front and rear. Huh? Yeah, it's, which is kind of weird. I've never ran that before, but it's working right now. Are the Galfers? Galfer rotors. Are they on there from stock? Yeah, build, those or? are stock. Oh, nice. Yeah. So well, I was kind of worried about going to the, the XTRs, but these actually modulate pretty well for Shimano's. Is that the toolbox, the Topeak? Yeah. Is that yours? Yes. Nice. Yeah, so that they have a little... What is this thing here? So I think that's their like sag indicator. Oh my God. Squat and do long. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about, um, is it Mauna? Mana. Mana. Yes. Mana. So yeah, Mana Ridewear. Yeah. So I, uh, we launched earlier this year. Mana Ridewear was inspired, as you can see, by the design, by the spirit of Aloha. My family and I have an affinity with the Hawaiian Islands. Okay. Um, and uh, so it's a place that we try to visit as often as possible. And if you've ever been there, you know that when you're on the island, you just, life is good. Yes. Nothing, no yeah. bad days, nothing can bring you down. That's how I feel when I'm on the bike. Okay. So the next okay. best thing when I'm not on the islands is when I'm on the trails. Okay. And so that's kind of where the inspiration of, of bringing Mono Ride Wear to life. Our slogan or our motto is Ride Aloha. And so you hear a lot of people say, live Aloha. Well, for us, being a mountain bike apparel company, bikes are life. So mm -hmm. we ride Aloha. Let everybody know where we can go pick them up. Check out our Instagram. Mono Ridewear is our handle. Um, you can also go to monoridewear.com 
And right now we are actually rolling our uh, fall flash sales. So we have some of our current styles that we're trying to, to get out and make room for some new stuff. So take advantage of the sale while it's there. And um, yeah, feel free to reach out to us on Instagram. If you have any of our stuff already, please don't hesitate to, to post and share. And, and we'd love to see people on the yeah. trails. I'll definitely leave the link in the description in this video for you guys that are interested because that looks pretty sick. All right, so just a little bit of bike info. like. The travel is 170, 160. Correct. There's two tiers of the Pivot Shuttle. This is a team edition? This is the team. Okay, this so the, the team, team edition build. comes with the 38 factory and the Float X factory. Yeah, so it's got the full factory Fox suspension setup in addition to the, uh, the dropper post. And then, like I stated originally, it had the all XT components for mm -hmm. Shimano as far as the drivetrain, as well as the um, XTR brake system. So it's pretty top of the line spec. Yeah. We were talking about earlier, Pivot doesn't come out with uh, low spec bikes. Yeah, they don't, they don't have any cheap builds. <laughs> they don't have any cheap builds. Cause yeah. like the, what the SLX one, that, that's like what, 9,000? Yeah, I think it originally came out at 9,000. They're, oh. they're cutting prices like all yeah. bike manufacturers yeah. right now, but and, um, uh, it's still pretty, pretty high up it's there. pretty high up the motor on the pivot is this a ep8 EP8. i can speak to the ep8 versus the bros mm -hmm. or brose however they pronounce yeah. it on the specialized i will say that the the bros definitely feels like it has a little bit more power yeah. uh, a little bit quicker and longer lasting mm -hmm. um but i have no gripes about the the ep8 it was right. on the decoy and um it's an e-bike, so it gets you up, you know, it gets you up the... the how, how is the, the sound, the rattle? I, I don't really experience it. There is a little bit of rattle okay. that I heard, but um, I think that might be internal with, with the battery. Mm -hmm. And so I did see something on Lone Wolf on there that they had to kind of make some adjustments. Okay. To, they were experiencing some, some noise and rattling, but um, it's not so much to the point where it's, it's bugging me crazy where I have to do it right away, but it's probably something that I'll look into. Yeah. The battery, this is a very odd numbered battery. This one is a what, 753 or something like that? I, yeah, it's like 753 or 756, something like that. Have you tried to drain your battery? I did actually. I actually just took it to the, to the brink of, of draining it fully, um, took it out to uh, Aliso Laguna area. So uh -huh. as anybody that rides planes. down here knows, it's very steep climbing, steep descents. And uh, I did just a little over 4,000 feet okay. and uh, about 21 miles. Cool. And um, I had a little, probably about six or seven miles on the odometer as far as what was left. So mm -hmm. just enough to get back to the car. And this is a full 2929, right? Yep, full Can 29. Can you go mullet? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you do have the option to mullet it. You would just have to put it in the high position. Okay, I yeah. see. Awesome, very cool stuff. Cause like this bike, cause you know, when you're up close in person looking at the shuttle it's it's pretty impressive this is their second attempt yes right? this gen is the two, gen 2 shuttle lt which is a big improvement from big the, improvement the, the bike looked like it was pregnant on the other one <laughs> it was kind of kind of taser was like that too right how do you like the this bike compared to the turbo lead because um so i was a little worried about the reach on mm -hmm. this bike um being that i'm about five eight so i'm i'm not very tall <laughs> we're the same and height so, yeah <laughs> so going to like a little bit of a longer reach uh was something i was a little bit worried about and i think it's around 15 millimeters uh from bit. longer from this to the the turbo levo uh again kind of going back to how the bike would feel going from a, a turbo levo you know with the short chain stay i don't feel like the back of the bike is too long or the bigger tire is that much of an issue where it's hard to get around, you know, um, technical um, switchbacks or anything like that. And so the overall feel of the bike feels great. It's poppy. Um, I don't feel like it's too big. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely taken on some proper descents uh, since getting it about a month ago. And it just feels um, like it can handle anything I can yep. throw at it. Since this bike is in the enduro category, how does this bike climb? Because most enduro bikes, they don't climb as well as the Levo or, you know, 150, 150 bikes. It climbs really well um, for kind of the geo where it's at, being an enduro bike, like technical climbs haven't been, you know, too much of an issue. I feel comfortable in the position, you know, in a seated position, if I need to get up to get over some rocks or, you know, whatever, any technical pieces, like I feel comfortable standing up on it as well. In your opinion, uh, I know you haven't had this bike for too long, but you know, when the, one of the 
first things we notice on any bike when you get on is like, wow, this thing does this one thing really well. In your opinion, what does this bike do well? Just one thing. I mean, it, it does a lot of different things well. <laughs> um, I would say it handles steep trails very, very well. well. Do the long reach put you put you in that in that position where yeah. you can do all the descents? Yeah, you don't have to be you know too far. Be, you can kind of keep your your center of gravity um, nice in the middle of the bike and just kind of let let the bike do its work. And, and yeah, so I would say control for not having a lot of time on this and taking it on some of the gnarlier trails in Laguna and Aliso. Um, I felt very controlled on it. Awesome, so, yeah. awesome. Would you recommend this bike to? A beginner rider or, or first-time owner? I wouldn't recommend it to like a first-time rider or like somebody that's just getting into mountain biking and they're kind of going directly into an e-bike but mm -hmm. if you've already been riding and you're looking to get your first e-bike yeah I mean if you're gonna if you want a bike that can handle rowdy technical trails but also you know take it around kind of a mellow ride and and just cruise it yeah this bike can totally do it all because you know, when you're climbing and, and you're kind of just in the regular non-aggressive position, you feel comfortable in. Um, let's go ride. Let's go ride. Right. Let's do it. Let's get this bike. I cleaned it up for Frankie, so it's all nice, but <laughs> it's time to get it dirty. Okay. So let's do it. I've certainly enjoyed getting an up close look at the Pivot Shuttle LT and in my view the Shuttle LT is meticulously crafted with attention to detail. But this bike is definitely not tailored for everyone. The high-end specs leaves limited room for upgrades. However, with the current discount down to $6,000 for an SLX build, it seems we've found the sweet spot. This is definitely a bike that is geared up for some serious shredding straight out of the box. So for those who are looking for their second e-bike or an e-bike upgrade to your analog, this is the bike for you. I hope you all enjoyed this video. We'll be back next week with another kick-ass bike. Have a good rest of the week, and as always, stay electric. Peace.